Hi, today we'll make this flirty bracelet with tiny flowers. Stay with me and subscribe to my channel. In my last video, I did this bracelet with big flowers. And I want to show you the difference between the big flowers and the tiny new one. So this is the flower of that bracelet and this is the tiny flower we'll make for today's bracelet. So if you didn't watch this flowered bracelet, you can click on your screen for watching it or click on the link below this video. Let's start making the flower. So to make one of these flowers, you'll need two bands for the end, two bands for the petals, and two bands for the flower center. You'll also need your loom only with six pins and a hook. So start placing a band around six pins. And then turn it around every pin this way. The crossing should be inside and the loop outside. Do the same thing for every pin. should look like this. Now, low a little bit the band and put the petals. I have choose pink for the petals, so place it from the center to the corner and then stretch it with your hook and hold it on this other corner, making a triangle. Do the same with next petal. So place it from this corner to the center and then stretch it and hold it on this other corner. So we have a triangle here and another here. Now you have to take the yellow band and pull it over the pink one. So take the band, stretch it, pull it over and release it on top. Do the same with the other pins. You have to obtain something like this. Now, join the yellow band on the center like this. Just push from all the sides. This way we make a very nice center for the flower. Now, Place another band around the six pins, but place it under the pink bands. So on top you have the petals and under them you place this yellow band. So now insert the hook through the pink band Keep the yellow band with your hook, keep the pink band with your finger, and release both bands.
Keep the yellow band and hold it again on the pin. Repeat on this corner. So, insert the hook through the pink band. Keep the yellow band with the hook. Then put your finger to keep the pink band. Release the band from the pin. Stretch the yellow band and hold it on the pin again. Now repeat all these steps with the other pins. If you like this video, click right now on the subscribe button for more cool videos like this one. So now you have all the petals free and you just hold the yellow band. Now put a green band around the six pins on top of the yellow band. Now you just need to pull over the yellow band on top of the green one on all the pins. Now move all the bands to this center pin carefully. For finishing, insert your hook through all the bands and pass a green band, and then make a slip knot. Then take off your flower from the loom. You'll have something like this. Now stretch the petals carefully to form the flower. Try to stretch all the petals with the same size. Remember that you only have two bands for the six petals, so if you stretch too much one petal, another will become too small. And you have to obtain something like this. This is a tiny daisy, and this is the back. You have the band for attaching. The same way we did the flower, I made 8 more for making the bracelet. You can make 9 or 10 little flowers for decorating your bracelet. I'm going to 
gonna use more or less 50 bands for making a fishtail bracelet. Start placing a first band on a eight shape on two pins. Then put a second band and then a third. Then you only need to pull over the last band from each side to the top. Push a little bit the bands and place another band. Now pull over the last band from each side again. Then put another band. And again pull over the last band from each side on top. Place another one. You always need three bands on your loom for making this bracelet and always pulling over the sides. I'm gonna turn it so you can watch it better. So push the bands down, pull over one side and then the other. This way you'll knit the bracelet. I'm gonna knit this bracelet by repeating those steps until having the long of my wrist. Then I'll come back to put the flowers. Now I have the bracelet. Usually when you finish you have two bands on your loom. I'm gonna close it by pulling over two bands, one from each side, to keep only one. Now I'm gonna hold this last band with a clip. So stretch the band and put the clip. Then remove from the loom, stretch again and put the clip. Ok, so this is one end and this is the other. So you'll start placing the flowers here on the bracelet. So now you'll start placing all the flowers on the bracelet. So start passing a flower through this stitch. Don't do it through the clip stitch, but through next stitch. So insert the hook here through this hole. Take the flower, insert the hook, pick up the green band and pull it through. Then stretch the band so the flower stay well attached to the bracelet. So now count 5 stitching from the flower. Insert the hook, pick up the band and pull it through. Now you have to attach next flower. So stretch the band on your hook, pass your fingers, catch the flower and pass over the band. Now insert the hook from the back through the same stitch. Pick up the band and pull it through. Stretch the band and your flower is attached. The back will seem stitching. Let's repeat all this. Count 5 stitching.
insert your hook, pick up the band, stretch it, insert your fingers, take the flower, pass the band over and release it. Then insert the hook from the back. Stretch the band and that's it! Again, count five stitching. Insert the hook and pull it through. Repeat those same steps until putting all the flowers on your bracelet. So when you put the flowers around all the bracelet, it curves a little bit because of the green band. And at the end, you'll have this loop here and these other bands. So take these three bands to hang them on the clip. So stretch them and pass the clip. And here you have your bracelet. Isn't it cute? With all those tiny flowers. And now I want to compare this bracelet with the one we made some days ago. So these are the tiny flowers we just made and this is the bracelet from the other day with bigger flowers. Both are so cute and you can choose if you want bigger or small flowers that I love. I hope you like this project. Mark us favorite and post a like. Subscribe to our channel. Follow us on networks, share with your friends and click the following images to watch more videos. See you soon. Bye!